Hi, it's Jill Osborne from the IC Network office and I'm here today to give you another great self-help tip on living with IC. In this case, I want to talk about bladder infections versus flares. You know, the problem with IC is that it really feels like you keep getting bladder infections. You have more frequency, more urgency, more pressure, or more pain, and it's very typical for IC patients to describe an IC flare as the world's worst bladder infection. But the sad reality is, is that when you have your urine cultured, most of the time your culture comes back negative. What does that mean? That means you're having an IC flare. But guess what? IC patients can and do still get infections just like regular women and men. And so I had an experience a couple of years ago that really taught me a valuable lesson. I had what I thought was a typical IC flare and so I just treated it at home like I normally would. But the symptoms didn't improve after a couple of days and in fact they got worse and worse and then two weeks later the symptoms were horrible and then three weeks later I was in trouble and when I finally made it to the doctor we discovered that I had a pretty wicked infection. So when your symptoms get profoundly worse it's important that you start investigating possible causes and a bladder infection is certainly a possible cause of frequency urgency pressure pain so one of the ways that you can do this is with a urine test kit this is a test kit made by azo and what's great about this kit is that you can use it at home you just test your urine and if it turns pink, you just call your doctor and say, hey, I think I have a bladder infection. These are my symptoms. I did my home test kit. Can I please come in and leave a urine sample? Now, test kits are really easy to use, okay? It just comes in a little bottle like this, and you'll notice on the back that it has little squares of colors, and that's to help you determine if you have an infection or not. And it's just simply a little white strip. You hold this in your urine briefly and then you wait a period of time and compare it to the colors on the bottle. If they're pink or purple, you know you might have a problem. That's when you call your doctor. Now these strips are not foolproof. You could still have, you could potentially be negative on this and still have an infection. So you know the rule, if you're worried and your symptoms are strange, call your doctor. There's no substitute for going to your doctor when you need help. Now, I, I just want to caution you about one thing. You know, we as IC patients have had symptoms for a period of time, sometimes years. And you sometimes get into the habit of just assuming that a flare is an infection and we can self-medicate. That's always a mistake. When you start popping antibiotics, you're actually creating an opportunity for resistant infection to grow. So anytime you suspect you have infection, you know, number one, look for the hallmarks, fever, etc. But number two, try a UTI test kit and then go get your urine cultured before you take an antibiotic because once you take the antibiotic, the cultures will not work as well. I hope that that helps. If you're looking for any more information on IC, please come to our website at www.ic-network.com. And if you'd like to buy a test kit, we have these available in our shop at www.icandsales.com. We have a UTI test kit and we also have a pH strip test kit and we will soon have some caffeine test strips. Have a great day.